G'day everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about the topic of injector coding and if you need to code your injectors on your Ford Ranger when you replace them. Now there's a lot to cover in this topic and I'm just going to be skimming the surface of it. There's plenty of information out there if you want to research it but I'm just going to give you just a basic rundown of what I know in regards to injector coding. So injector coding is also known as short-term correction and essentially what that is is when the injector is manufactured in the factory, it's always going to have some very, very, very minor differences in the internal component tolerances from the injector that's going to be manufactured after it. And how that is corrected is through injector correction values. And essentially in the factory, what they do, they flow test each injector, and then that injector is stamped with a special coding number. And what that number is, it's usually something, you know, like I think it can be anywhere from 12 to 24 digits. And that number is used to inform the ECU how much compensation or how much correction is required to achieve optimum performance of that injector. So if you put injectors in and you don't code them, essentially what will happen is the car will still run, but it won't run to its optimum and peak performance. Like it's going to burn probably more fuel than what it needs to. It might not run 100%, like it might run a little rough or something like that. It just depends on what the coating was of the previous injectors. Now, we gotta take into consideration that the ECU of the car does its own correction as well. So let's say there's an injector that's partially blocked. Well then, the ECU would be telling that injector to stay open for slightly longer so it injects more fuel into that cylinder so that cylinder contributes equally to the performance of the engine. So when you code a new injector into the ECU, essentially what you do is you reset that previous figure that was in there as well as giving the ECU the new correction factor of the new injector that was given to it from the factory where it was manufactured. So if you have to put injectors in as an emergency or if you have to put one in because one failed or something like that, yes, you can get away without coating them. Yes, your car will run, although it probably won't run to the best of its ability, but it'll probably be enough to get you home out of whatever situation you're in. 